Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be um morning messages. All right. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you like a personal reading, how you can purchase one is down in the description box, okay? So this is just some quick messages for Taurus. How does what is Taurus? What's Taurus's person's first thoughts of them in the morning? So what's your person's first thoughts of you upon them waking up in the morning? What's their first thoughts? What is Taurus's first thoughts of them when they wake up in the morning? What is Taurus's person's thoughts of them? The first thing in the morning upon waking up. What's Taurus's thoughts of their person? Or what's Taurus's person's thoughts of Taurus upon waking up in the morning? We have the Queen of Swords. Wow. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. Yikes. And then the King of Wands. This deck is in reverse. Okay. So I feel like your first thoughts of you, okay, Taurus, is that you're highly intelligent and very sexy. They're highly attracted to you. We have the king to the queen of wands. I'm just not noticing. So they feel like, I feel like this person has someone. Okay, so for some of you, this person has someone. Okay. Maybe in a marriage, an unhappy marriage, but they feel a twin flame connection with you. King to the Queen of Wands. Or this could be a married couple and there's somebody on the outside. But either way, if you're married, Taurus, and you're unhappily married, then you're thinking about this person that you feel is the one for you. For others of you, um, it could just be a marriage and they got somebody on the side. It could be an air sign on the side. On the side, it could be a Libra with the Queen of Swords. But I feel like your person's thoughts is that they feel very much connected to you, very, very, high, very highly attracted to you, okay? Very much in love with you. Well, this is the emperor. Sorry. So I feel like somebody's into polygamy as well. They they want their relationship or their marriage or they can't leave it or they're stuck. And then they want this person that they feel a twin flame connection with. So, yeah, this could this is definitely a husband. So I feel like there's a married couple and then there's a, a couple that has a lot of passion, that, that is a true, genuine connection here, all right? And I feel like this person thinks about, um, Taurus, how to, how to get out of this marriage or how to get unstuck and how to come towards you. This person finds you to be very attractive. They very much are uh, protective of you, all right? They know that you're it for them, even if they're being cold or whatever. You're the first thoughts on their mind. This connection that they feel so deeply with you is the first thoughts that go through their mind in the morning. Very, very much attracted to you. All right. Give me two more cards and then that's it. Yeah, we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, somebody here is single, beautiful, fine as hell. Like, yeah, somebody like, yeah. Okay, yeah, this person also, Seven of Cups, they dream about you a lot. All right. I feel like somebody hates the fact that you're single or not. They're not. Somebody's definitely juggling. Yeah, I saw the Two of Pentacles, and now we have the Three of Cups. So this is a third-party situation. I feel like somebody's tied down to something. All right. But then they don't want 
um, you to be single. So how that work? All right, they want to possess you and control you, but they can't because they feel such this pull and attraction towards you. And they're dreaming about you all the time. So, yeah. Yeah, this person is juggling. This person, I feel like this person has options, but I feel like you're the one that they uh, think about in the morning before, when they wake up and at night before they go to bed. All right? I feel like these other people are just kind of around because maybe you're not talking to them or you're not dealing with the bullshit or whatever. So this person, you know what I'm saying, of course is going to go try to find something, anything. All right? So let's get a couple from this deck for Taurus. What's on Taurus? This person's mind. First thing. Yeah, express your love and healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this person has childhood um, abandonment issues that they need to go within and, and work on. And I feel like this person is realizing that. All right, but they do want to express their love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. They do want to let you know how they feel. They dream of being able to tell you that. Yeah, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. So they want to reconcile, yeah, because they know you're their true love. See, the Six of Swords card is in the reverse in this deck. So they want to come back. All right? They want to take control of the situation because they know you're no longer playing with their ass. All right? So those are your messages, uh, Taurus. Hope that resonated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.